What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I have movie recommendations for you that you can watch this coming weekend with your mom for Mother's Day. If you enjoy watching movies at home with your mom like I do with Mama Blu-ray, then I've got you covered with this video. I have picked out 11 movie choices ranging from comedy to horror. That's right, the horror genre, because let's be honest, some of the most iconic mothers come from horror films. But we're going to start off light with some comedy because one of my favorite things in life is laughing with my mother. And I'm sure you all feel the same way at home. So let's start off with two comedies. The first one that I recommend to you is Bad Moms. This movie is fun and also relatable. You have our three main stars here on the cover. They are not the perfect mom by any means. They are tired, exhausted, they are overworked, and they embrace the fact through the course of the movie that they are not perfect. And it's okay. It's not a bad thing to not be the perfect mother. So that's the reason why I love this film is because I feel like today we place too much emphasis on being perfect. Having that outside facade of having the perfect life, the perfect home, the perfect bank account, the perfect children, the perfect husband, everything has to be perfect. No, it doesn't. And this movie is proof of that. So Bad Moms, if you haven't seen it, what are you doing? You got to get on it. And there is a sequel called Bad Moms Christmas that I obviously recommend that you watch during the holidays. Now, the other comedy that I have chosen, you're probably going to be extremely surprised because why am I recommending something that I'm really not the biggest fan of? It's Barb and Star go to Vista Del Mar. Now, the reason why I'm recommending Barb and Star is because film is subjective. Just because I am not the biggest fan of this movie does not mean that other people would not watch this and be like, wow, that's hilarious. This may be your new favorite comedy. Who knows? For me personally, I don't need to watch it again. I watched it once and that was enough for me. But I figure I would recommend it to you because there's nothing like laughing with your mom. As I mentioned before, you might want to watch this with your sister, maybe with your grandma. Who knows? Maybe the whole entire family. Huddle around the TV and watch Barb and Star this weekend. So it's an option and I'm putting it out there for you. Now we're transitioning over to dramedies is what we call them. A nice combination of comedy and also drama. Humorous elements in a drama is pretty much what this next batch of movies are. Starting with Lady Bird. I think this is the only Greta Gerwig movie I actually enjoy. However, it's been a really long time since I've seen this movie. You have Saoirse Ronan as our main character and her mother is played by Laurie Metcalf, who we all know as Roseanne's sister Jackie from the TV show Roseanne. She is just so amazing in any role that she takes on. And in this movie, there's no exception because I believe if memory serves me correct, she was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for this film. The mother-daughter relationship dynamic in this movie is something to note. And that's the main reason why I'm recommending it to you because it just, it's, it's very relatable. A lot of these are relatable and I'm probably going to keep bringing that up again and again, but it is relatable. And I enjoyed this movie. Like I said, I'm not the biggest fan of Greta Gerwig with some of her projects, but this one I did enjoy. I honestly actually don't think I've ever watched this Blu-ray. I think I only watched the movie in the theater. And how long ago was that? That was a long time ago. So I got to get on it. I got to get on a rewatch for that one. Okay. I am now pulling one of my favorites, one of the classics, one side you have to ignore because it's a double pack and the other movie has nothing to do with what we're talking about. So don't look at Marie Antoinette. You are looking at Little Women. This is the 1994 version of Little Women. It is my favorite interpretation of this story. And this movie is perfect for moms and daughters because the mom played by Susan Sarandon in this movie, her four daughters, they love each other so very much. The father is off to war 
And every day they're hoping he's going to come home. He's going to come home. He's going to be okay. And they only have each other during this very rough time. And it's just the classic tale of this story. You guys already know, I love this movie. I watch it every single Christmas. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies, even though it's not technically a Christmas film, but there's a lot of scenes in the movie from Christmas, around Christmas time. So it's one of my favorites to watch during the holiday season and their relationship in this film, all the actresses together. It is so believable. It is so natural. I love it. And if I love it, I want you to love it at home. So that's why I'm recommending it to you. All right, moving on next to more drama drama. Now we're getting into some serious stuff. So we have the help. I am recommending the help to you because even though the main plot line of the movie is not revolving around moms and daughters, the mom and daughter dynamics in the film, the different relationships that we do see are very significant and very important. Besides having an all-star, packed, fantastic female cast, one of the best I've ever seen on screen. You have Viola Davis. You know I love and adore her. Sissy Spacek, Emma Stone, Allison Janney. Uh, who else? Bryce Dallas Howard. Jessica Chastain, all of these, Octavia Spencer won her Oscar for this movie. All of these women are so fantastic in this film. You should have just given every single one of them an Oscar because it's just so good. The topic, the main plot line of this movie is not, not the best. It's about African-American women being maids and servants in white, Caucasian homes in the 50s, I believe in the 50s, is it in the 50s, in the, in the 60s, that's even worse, in the 60s in Mississippi. To me, I can't even fathom that. That's like blows my mind. But my mother does remember when this occurred, when these events occurred. And it's just so unbelievable. This movie is just so good. It should have won Best Picture. Unfortunately, it did not. But if you have not seen The Help, Highly do recommend it for Mother's Day. It's it's a very serious drama, but you're going to get a lot out of it. You're going to get some education. You're going to get knowledge dropped on your brain. If you did not know that these events occurred, you're going to get some education. But you're also going to get the mother-daughter dynamic between Emma Stone and um, Allison Janney and also Bryce Dallas Howard and Sissy Spacek, those relationships. So I highly do recommend The Help. All right, serious. I told you serious. Okay, next up. This is another serious one. We're getting a double dose of Shirley MacLaine, these next two films. So the first one is Terms of Endearment. This is a Best Picture winner. I believe Shirley MacLaine won for this movie. She won, nominated, several nominations. This movie is an all-time classic film, but at the heart of the main core of this movie, of the storyline, is between the relationship of Shirley MacLaine and Deborah Winger as her daughter. They have a very back and forth tumultuous relationship. Shirley MacLaine, right off the bat, does not approve of Deborah Winger's choice for a husband. She, she doesn't make the best choice. I got to be honest. She doesn't make the best choice for a husband. Just choices in life. She makes mistakes. And Shirley MacLaine, yes, she is a rough mother. But she's doing it out of love. She loves her daughter a thousand percent. And you can see that love throughout the course of this movie all the way to the iconic scene at the end where she's in the hospital and she's, she says, give my daughter the shot. And she's screaming it. You can feel the love that she has for her daughter. So even though they don't have the best relationship continuously, it's very on and off. But... It is just so good. It is so strong. They are, I believe, Texas women. And I know Texas women are extremely strong. And you feel that throughout this entire movie. And it's one of the best. And I believe this is getting a 4K upgrade very shortly. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll ditch this one. I'll ditch this one and upgrade to the 4K. So the other Shirley MacLaine film, you guys ought to know. I mean, this is an all-time classic. 
We're talking Steel Magnolias. If you're not watching Steel Magnolias for Mother's Day, what are we doing here? What is the point? This is why I'm recommending it to you. Besides having, again, an amazing all-star, all-female pretty much cast. I mean, this cast is incredible. This story is so iconic and amazing. This started as a stage play and it was made into a movie. And I have seen this movie so many times with my mother. It's very emotional. This one takes you for an emotional ride because there is a lot of comedy in here, but a lot of drama as well. And the reason why you have some a lot of comedy in a drama, for this film anyway, is because it gets extremely heavy with the topics. You need that comedy to bring you out of that serious moment because if it, if it was straight drama across the board, too serious, way, way too serious. But the focus of this film is about the mother-daughter relationship between Sally Field and Julia Roberts. It breaks you. It makes you so emotional what they go through with this story. And it's so amazing. And it's so iconic. Shirley MacLaine and Olympia Dukakis are so good in this film. They're dynamic with each other. The way they riff together. I can't get enough of it. It's just so good and it's so amazing. So I highly recommend Steel Magnolias to you. I can't recommend it enough because it's just so good. And I believe Julia Roberts was nominated for Best Supporting Actress for that film very early on in her career. All right, now we're getting into some horror films. I picked four for you. Starting off with, again, a little bit lighter. We have some horror comedy with Serial Mom. This is so good. <laughs> I love watching Serial Mom. You have Kathleen Turner, this iconic actress that's been in so many amazing movies throughout the years. And she decides to do Serial Mom, which is about a mom living in the suburbs. She is just, as referring back to Bad Mom, she's the quote unquote perfect mother. The hair is perfect. The house is perfect. You know, she cooks the perfect food. But the one thing about her that's not perfect, um, she likes to kill people and she likes to do it a lot and she idolizes serial killers and she, she likes to read about them and everything. So this is a great horror comedy. It is one of the best. It's not even like really horror, but technically it's a horror comedy because of the topic at hand because she likes to murder people. It's not overly graphic. In one scene, she kills someone with a ham. I mean, come on. It's really not that graphic. Directed by, oh, what's his name? John Waters. So this is John Waters' sense of humor. If you enjoy John Waters' films and you've never seen Serial Mom, then there you go. I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. All right. I don't need an explanation for this one. It's Friday the 13th. I mean, if your mom would kill for you because you died years ago at a camp and is now killing random strangers because you died like 10 years ago and she can't get over it, that's the mom of the year for you. So of course I'm going to recommend Friday the 13th. I mean, if you haven't seen the plot, I guess I gave it away. But I mean, come on, this has been out for how long now? So Friday the 13th, absolutely have to watch it for mother's day all right these last two go into the like the messed up category the messed up mom category we got mommy dearest <laughs> why am i putting this on the list in case you want something a little weird and funky this is a biopic about joan crawford we all know joan crawford iconic hollywood legend However, even though she was an Academy Award winning actress, was in tons of films, apparently she might have had a bad side, I guess you want to say. Years later, after her death, her adopted daughter, Christina, wrote a book called Mommy Dearest, explaining that her mother physically, emotionally, pretty much everything abused her two children. I do not know whether the story is true or not because we're never going to know what happened behind closed doors in that house so many decades ago. But here's the movie. 
and Faye Dunaway gives one hell of a performance in this film. So if you want a little bit of dysfunction with your mom this weekend, then I highly recommend Mommy Dearest for you. And the last movie, I think it needs no explanation at all whatsoever. It's Carrie when you have the mom that absolutely hates you and hates your existence and pretty much regrets even having you. I guess you want to go with Carrie. I mean, I'm saying that as a joke, but if you want something that is just completely opposite of everything else that I went with today, then what is more opposite than Carrie? So those are my 11 Mother's Day movie recommendations for you. I am curious out of my list, which ones have you seen? Have you not seen? Are you going to watch any of these? And if not, what movies do you watch on Mother's Day? I'm curious. Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.